Hello and welcome to episode three of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to take you through the anatomy of a note and more specifically, what you can actually do with formatting uh, in a note so that you can see the sort of things that you can do to make your note a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So, uh, in my inbox, I have uh, a note that I've just created, which is my exercise objectives for June to December 2016. Now, I quickly put this together while I was on the subway through my iPhone. So, oh, I'll just to show you a quick trip here. Uh, if you're in the full web, web word version that I'm using myself here, uh, what we have is we have the sidebar down here and we have the note here. Now you could quite easily work from that, there's no problem, you can edit and do whatever you like, but I find when I'm processing notes I and I want to work with formatting, then I find going into full screen view is a much uh, easier way of doing the note. So to do that, all you have to do is click on this top right hand corner here, this little, well, white and then green button, click on that, and it takes the sidebar away. If you need to get back to the sidebar, you just click done. Okay, so what can we do with a note? Now, a note's title is always going to come up with this like green color. I suppose maybe we can change it. Let me just see. Uh, no, we can't. Um, but this is, uh, oh yes I can. No, I can't. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So what I want to do is I want to move into these things here. So what we have is we have, what do I want to achieve? So what I can do is I can highlight that and you'll notice that a, uh, a bar appears at the top which allows me to change the font and I can change all these fonts. I'm just going to go with the standard font which looks pretty good to me. Uh, I can change the font size and I'm going to do that. I'm going to change it to 18 because this is a subheading and I'm going to make it bold. And I can change the color as well. So what I'll do is I'm going to change this to a green color. Uh, maybe go like that. Yeah, it's similar to the top. So what do I want to achieve? And then I have, <clears throat> down here I have to reduce body weight by three kilograms to tone up and to build up legs. So what I can do now is I can turn those into bullet points or even numbers. Actually, because this is a goal setting, I'm going to set this as a number. So all I do is click on the numbered list in the bar and you'll see I get one, two, three. Now we have another subheading so I can click on highlight that and I can make that bold. I'm going to make that the green color and I'm going to make that 18. Um, and now I have a list of uh, four things that I need to do. So I'm going to highlight those, reduce my sugar intake, be more disciplined with my exercise time, be more active and make sure I'm doing weights in the correct way. Uh, so what I want to do is this doesn't need to be numbers. So I'm going to make this into bullet points. And there you go. I have my bullet points there and I can click down. And now I've I've created a, a sample weekly program, if you like. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So again, I'm going to make this is a subheading. So I'm going to make that into 18. Uh, I'm going to bold it and I'm going to change it to the color green. Now, I don't really need to do anything there, but I could if I wanted to. I could highlight the Monday and make that bold. I could highlight Tuesday and make that bold. Uh, and I could go down the list and create like for the dates, just bold them so they stand out. And there we go. And just three more. Let's just highlight that and bold. Saturday, Sunday, bold. Okay. Okay, so those are some of the basic formatting that you can do with Evernote. But there's something else you can do, which I, ha which I didn't. We can actually create a... Uh, a checklist if you like so let's um so let's just say clothing to buy and uh, i'm going to create this as a checklist so all i need to do is click on the checkbox and i can put uh, new running shoes uh, shoes um new training top and new uh, running shorts. Okay, so what we've done here is we've created a 
if you like. This is how I use Evernote for goal setting or planning. Um, I like the freedom that Evernote gives me to create and also to be able to format it in the way that I want to do it. So that's just one some of the things that you can do in an Evernote note. Now, when you look at this on your mobile device, and I haven't got one connected at the moment, all this formatting will follow, whether you're using the the uh, online version that I'm using here, or whether I'm using a, a native application in my uh, computer. Either way, uh, I have this note now where I can actually um, look at my exercise objectives and there we go. So <clears throat> what I, all I need to do now is move this into my personal notebook. So I just click on the, yeah, just to show you, to click, to put this into my personal notebook, I can drag it if I want to, but what easiest way is just click move up there and move to my personal notebook. And now, bang, that's gone. So if we look at my notebooks here, uh, personal notes, and sure enough, my exercise um, note is there. Uh, something else now just one more thing and, and I know there's so much in Evernote and I, I'm trying to resist the temptation to give you too much in one go one thing that you can do at this point and because this is a note that I may be adding to at a later date so throughout the week I may add new things to this note so what I want to do then is star and add this as a shortcut now what that does is it pins the note at the top so whenever I'm in my mobile device, which is where I will probably be adding to this list, uh, all I have to do is go to my shortcuts, which is done by the star shine, and I can click on the note, and there we go, bang, I'm straight into the note, and I can start editing the note. Anyway, I hope for all those of you who are new to Evernote, I hope you found that useful. This is one of the reasons why I like Evernote so much, is because... I have so much freedom for formatting and playing around with the various uh, type settings. A lot of notes just use plain text and although some people prefer that, personally I like the way that I can manipulate the text, change its colour, use bullet points, numbers and so on. Anyway, I hope you found that very, very useful. Uh, if you have any questions at all about the things I've covered in Evernote so far, please, please leave a comment in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer your question. But that's it for now. So I wish you all a very productive week and I'll see you in the next episode.